out, comment and subscribe on the biggest show on the internet. My DM podcast live from Joe. Yes, okay. Viewers. <laughs> Welcome to my DMs podcast. Today we're talking to Skate, having some chats about his work, not the music, more of the jokes. Hello, hello, hello. Did you just skate on the mic? 100%. Oh my gosh, can we do it together? Let's go. One, two, one, two. And these are fake, imaginary, <laughs> acting. All right, so we were talking about your music. I was talking about your music. You said, don't talk about the music, talk about the jokes. How did the joke thing come about? Okay, so um, my story starts in KZN. Mm-hmm. And um, that's just me trying to figure out the whole like journey as far as just being an entertainer, because I know that's what I want to be. Mm-hmm. But music was just the first thing I like sort of got my, ha- my head around. So when I come to Johannesburg, which is like 2021. Um, I'm staying in Maboneng, excuse me. <clears throat> I'm staying in Maboneng, right? City of lights. 100%, and the pressure's there because all these musicians are there too. Do you also take those pictures by the... Never. You don't, you don't have a Maboneng washing line picture? Never, not are even. Are you sure? Not even the Telcom one. <laughs> There's a Telcom one? The Telcom building. Oh, that big one with the, with the Vodacom thing on? Yeah. Okay, also don't have one of those. Exactly. So um, <laughs> pretty much what happens, like long story short, a mm-hmm. friend invites me to like a, a listening session. And when I got there, people didn't know who I was. So I had like free range to introduce myself as whoever I wanted to be. Mm-hmm. And that's when I took a swing and I said, I'm a comedian. I kid you not, people were minding <laughs> their own business face in that way. As soon as I said, I'm a comedian, everyone turned around. So, and it was like, right then and there, I knew exactly that this is what I had to do like it demanded the attention without you even calling the attention and that's what i liked about it so do you like like more of stand-up comedy and where did where did the love of comedy come from like where you're from tell people where you're from because i was asking you earlier about the the accent guys it's from richards bay from richards bay richards bay from richards bay 100 (laughs) percent um the love for comedy is just it's always been there like naturally you know i come from a big family Mm -hmm. um with the last borns and Pretty much jokes get us going. And apart from everything else, it was like the one thing that I didn't have to try hard at, yeah, making people true. laugh. Yeah. So yeah, that's where it pretty so much So who's came your from. biggest supporter of this joke thing? And is it stand-up comedy or is it more like do you write them first? Yes, hundred percent. So pretty much you must think of like Key and Peel when you see me. Mm-hmm. Like I wanna go into shows. I oh, wanna great. write shows, I wanna write movies, I wanna um, conceptualize um, commercial space here in south africa i think like our adverts are not that funny anymore true dude you know i was actually watching um remember that advert of scott's emulsion growing up growing up oh yes 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 yes, 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 yes. (gasps) and remember the savannah days when savannah was just coming with that it's dry but you can drink it oh bro and those jokes were dry but you could drink them you know (laughs) you know like we're missing that random humor again in south africa yeah Yo, so are you are you in touch with any agencies that are looking for your kind of skills? Or do you what does a comedian have to do in this D and age day and age to, you know, get their shot? I think the comedian has to do what every other entertainer has to do. It's like we all have to first acknowledge that it has changed. You know, um the internet is here. And um your your credibility goes a long way when you have your own audience. True. So that's Scape's mission number one. Let's get my audience and then we go to these people and start talking because they, they can't push us around when we have our own people. Mm. Like, we'll just tell you not. We don't need this. True. And our audience will leave with us. Yeah. True, that's true. So now with all these upcoming comedians, well, I don't actually see much. Do you perform <laughs> in and around Johannesburg? Maybe like Bob Bram? With your um, Maboneng side, do you, are the comedy skits that are like still going on even now? Like, what do you mean, like um, like shows? so? So we host like on Saturdays, um, like music, jazz um, seminars where people come together, hip hop heads, and we host a concert or an event of some sort. Um, we do that mostly like on weekends, maybe Saturdays, sometimes in the middle of the week. But this mainly, <clears throat> sorry, mainly focused on music, right? But mm. I never see comedy skits do you think that maybe people should book you also to open up their shows 100 percent. right like, you see the word book is where you fucking tickle me there you see because that's where it's at like 
rule number one you cannot tell a joke for free true you know like people will have you in a room and take up all the energy especially from a comedian and they don't they don't headline you like the rapper they don't book you like the rapper so true. we can't bring our energy like that to those spaces if they're not gonna you know compensate us like that true we're better off creating our own niche like um i say this even to a rapper it's very difficult to go do a free show right now true even emceeing everything guys honestly there's there's costs involved guys you know like just to get the logistics you know Mm. the food the drinks things like that and those are things we don't want to downplay anymore especially now that we're in a position where we know that the people love us so there's no need to really just show up for no reason true that's true so what kind of a budget are we looking at for like a one-man show for a comedian like let's let's put it this way uh-huh. um our very own has hosted the, the grammys four times in a row if i don't know when we're gonna have this conversation but south african comedy is up there it's top tier true trevor noah is the example true like anyone who says they do comedy should be respected not even questioned bro because like trevor noah right now if, when we talk about the 33 million rand tourism deal with cape town mm. like essentially the price went up for the comedians like when he did that because the next one to come can negotiate that. Trevor got 33. So I Why can co- too. Exactly. Sure, guys. So so it's a very interesting time right now to be a comedian in South Africa. You know, you have to honor that Trevor Noah has paved it for us. Right now in South Africa, they might not respect it. But step out to Ireland or to Britain or to the United States and say you're a South African comedian. They'll see you. So it's a, it's a good money-making talent. It's not only a good money-making talent, it's the best marketing tool any company will need. If you look at, mm. even if you're selling medicine, the um, Panado commercial will need a sense of humor. If you're Everything s- needs everything, a sense everything, of humor. We're bro. talking about Desmond Dube. Yeah. Clientele legal. <laughs> There's a sense of humor there. Yeah, guys. there really is. <laughs> <laughs> yo, guys. So all those like, ads. Yo, I remember them from from days where I would lie saying I'm I'm sick, I don't want to go to school, and then be bored with him the whole day. <laughs> and the whole Dubai family is there. And I'm just like, what else, what else going on here? <laughs> nah, you're right, you're right. Keep going. Yeah, so like I do truly believe that um they might not see it yet, but um we see it we see it like it's been happening years ago in the States where comedians would be invited to a rapper's music video. And you'd see a comedian there like Mike Epps or someone like that, that, that we all know in a music video. And that for me began to like show me that these industries need comedy. True. That's why it's always there. Like, I looked at it like this. When I was a rapper, we only exist in certain rooms. Mm-hmm. We don't need a rapper at a funeral, bro. Oof. But we do need some jokes at a funeral. True. You know, and at a birthday party. Everywhere, blood. Everywhere, dog. These guys are there. Oh, jokes on you. Onto something. Check, dog. So it's really been just me trying to find the right team in Jersey to help me articulate this vision because I have the idea. Mm. I just need like experts to help me like articulate it better because I believe Trevor Noah is surrounded by experts. experts. So you need like a proper marketing team. Not necessarily um, marketing. <clears throat> director, maybe. Not necessarily marketing. Um like an organizational team like okay scave monday this is happening tuesday this is happening you know like i need more organization involved but like i said um, marketing is naturally like if you look at my posts one thing that you'll find common is that i don't use hashtags true hey i struggle with hashtags man i struggle with hashtags i think on social media a lot um what i've been struggling with the most is staying relevant due to the hashtag you use for your post instead of just being relevant for just the post exactly 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 because there's a lot of them you question so if you stop using hashtags today what's your metric system really gonna look like because you're forcing engagement exactly you know what i'm saying yeah so like that's what that's where i actually saw that comedy is real because i tried it i won't say it happened overnight it took like three years Sure. to be escaped today you know but i can say i was seeing the results like the moment where i was like okay you know what fuck it we gone when tyler commented i was like okay no tyler <laughs> tyler's showing love <laughs> you guys are slow it's fine you can catch up later <laughs> but tyler's showing love oh my goodness and she didn't have to yeah you know she knows her size she knows her influence and her doing that i took it as like 
you know, it's a cosign. True. Yeah. I think I felt like that when there was a time when I was, um, I saw a picture of Bonang and I, I post, well, I commented something. I think I wrote um, <clears throat> one day, I wish to um, interview people as big as you. And then she commented, ah, bro, she replied. I was like, yeah, 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 guys. She's like, don't worry, you will. I even read it in her voice. I was like, oh my God. Oh my God. Yo, guys, guys, I was complete. I was complete. Okay. So know what, guys? Um, these celebrities or people that are in places that we wish to be in, it's so important for you guys to show us some love, you know, because we are the next generation of it. Do you understand? People are dying off like leaves. You know, understand? Um, and you know, <clears throat> sometimes death is not a bad thing. Sometimes it's there's a hole so that something else can grow through it. You know what I mean? Um, so, hey, speaking of death, you said you know something about a came situation. Or you have an opinion. I said I have my or two cents. I'm you have a two cents. Well, okay, I also have a two cents about the AKA situation. So they say how many people did they find? Seven people. Yeah. Seven people. One person is still at large. Two people were followed all the way to Eswatini, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. It took them a year and um, they've been intervals of arrests that like span like a month or two later or three months between these all these arrests and it's all been secretive and it's all been da 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 my chat is south african police services name mm -hmm. you guys are so quick to invest in these big names but on a daily basis so many other deeper things are happening people's children are going missing but there's no effort being put into finding people there's no effort being put into the typical murder that happened next door to you know that guy that slept on the street no one even cares you know what i mean so i just feel like hey the media will always be the media it'll show us what they want to show us but i just feel like i want justice for everybody not just one celebrity and take it to heart i see i yeah. see you know um I, I found the humor in the situation. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't hear this. Like, I just find it funny <laughs> that South Africans are like following the case, given the fact that Oscar Pistorius hasn't been indicted. Bro. Like, there's nothing else we should be, like, we won't arrest anyone if we can't arrest Oscar. Oscar. The chat starts there. Um, the chat starts even further back than Oscar, in fact. Um, Senzo Meiwa. Dude. Like, does it not sound the same? Six people were found. Six suspects. And taken. then it's quiet. It's, like, it's the, it's the very same thing. Oh, you it's know? the wrong people. So that's my take on it. If we haven't even solved Senzo Meiwa's case, we won't really come close to solving the AKA case. The, so do you think the, the AKA case, he's shot on camera. Okay. The Senzo Meiwa case, we have everyone who was in the room when he died. How has someone not been arrested 10 years later? It's like some things you can just... So should we just get used to the culture? I wouldn't because, say... Because, hey, so Tini, so where do you start? Who do you talk to, Mr. I Beggy? What people are always trying to say that you being worried about people sleeping on the streets... Ha, Dero. <laughs> I'm just saying. But the state has failed us. True. I think he put it very well. I just didn't want to say the state has failed us. I think. Yeah, so Darrow said it. Yeah, he said For that. us. Yeah. Everyone listening, Darrow is the one who Dero. said the state. Yeah, he said the, the state failed. The ghost, <laughs> <clears throat> the ghost said it's the state's fault. You know what? I think the state is doing what any typical historically challenged state would do. Um, there's a lot of terrible things happening in the world and um, some things can never be changed. Some things can never, like violence will never go away. It'll never, you know, go down. But that's why we have comedians <laughs> in the space because <laughs> you guys can come to that funeral and say one thing, your opening line, and we're just chuckling, ne? <laughs> we laugh because we're so close to tears, right? <laughs> Where do you get your jokes from? Yo, like this very moment there's jokes lying around in this room come on give me one like, but don't guara me please no not like, not, not like necessarily like a joke how do i put it there there are comedians who tell jokes then there are comedians who share perspectives and points of views and that's just funny on its own true that you saw it like that true yeah i love that <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So no I, guys, I think I'm also funny. Hey, me guys, 
I promise you, ne, ne, ne. Me, Chantal Thomas Worldwide, guys. I, um, I'm a funny guy too. My friends think I'm funny. So. I think you're funny. Siraz. No, I do, dog. I genuinely, I think you're funny. Oh! <laughs> you're making myself laugh. I think you're funny. Why do you think I'm funny? What makes a funny guy? Authenticity is funny. Being mm. yourself is the funniest thing you can be yourself. That's funny. Like, you're that. That's funny. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Who are your top five um, comedians? Local, like the ones that are coming up with you, and international or bigger than, larger than life to you? Okay, coming up with me. Man, you know, I think I think Primo is a South African treasure. Mm -hmm. I think the industry is just not really opening up the right opportunities for him, but I think he's a South African treasure in comedy. I think he can offer us a lot of funny things. So that's one person I really, I like how he's free. He's one of the guys. Trevor Noah, of course, goes without saying. Um, Cat Williams. Oh, Cat, I like bro. just the freedom, you know. He's so real. Like, he's too, he's painfully real like he's that uncle that he mustn't come here he, mu he must he, go sit there please he's the only oh. comedian where like i learned that the, the perception they give you is that comedians are always supposed to be happy and laughing but True. like cat williams kind of makes it easy for you to be also yourself you know True. you don't always have to be happy and laughing um so it's those three trevor primo cat who else um i loved eugene um Koza. During his time, I don't know if you know Eugene Koza. Yeah, I do know Eugene Koza. Yes, I, I, yo, I loved him during his time. <laughs> and um, who else? <sighs> Fifth one. It's going to have to be a playwright. Um, Either Jordan Peele mm -hmm. or anyone from Comedy Central, really. Like, I'm, I love what they're doing there. There's this woman, oh, what's her name? Oh, maybe I can find it on the internet. Let me not press these things. Um, they've been having her on social media. It's not the one that did the interview with Cat Williams recently on that popular podcast. Mm. Um, it's the one, not on Club Shay Shay, the one after him. Monique. Monique, and then there was another one. There's Monique, and then there's that other light skin one, um, something Haddish. Tiffany. Tiffany Haddish. Yeah, I think they've been giving her heat. Yeah. on social media lately i don't know for what though yeah do you know for what i think i heard something i could be wrong i'm just um it's okay we stand to be corrected yeah this so i think it was something around her complaining about salaries and shit like that and then what happened was the the media took it and said but we're kind of living good to be out here complaining about money true Ooh. yeah so that's where it kind of went Ooh. i think so what do you think what's your take on that because like now I mean, you can sustain your life. You, you're a successful comedian. You become the greatest. Mm. And then you can no longer sustain or maybe you're struggling to sustain a way of life that other people are getting better than you. What do you do now? So you're not allowed to complain. You're just supposed to stay grateful, even though... No, nah, like, I think genuinely complaining at any level in your life, successful or unsuccessful, it, it breeds no results. True. Yeah. Mm. But I'm not ashamed. Okay. <laughs> I, it's fine. You know what? Tiffany Haddish, uh, Club Shay Shay's. Um, mm, I think Club Shay Shay is all about now drama these days. Hey, we're taking people are only watching to hear secrets. And I'm just like, guys, <clears throat> when are we going to be talking about success? So I have a magazine called The Goat Magazine, the greatest okay. of all time magazine. I'd like to have an article with you. I just want the proof of that he said he is on. So absolutely, people are watching, absolutely. Like, I'll be honored to even be on yeah, that magazine. Yeah, you should check too. it out. I think um, it'll be so great to do projects. You do like one man shows. Or are you interested in doing like one man shows for those people who are watching like thespians that need a comedic element for their shows? Would you be open to doing those one man? Two, how long is it? Like two hours? Is you it see, a two hour show that you guys do? We can't. No, 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 not even. Like I think now most of my show or my performances on the internet mm. and that's where I stand to like dominate now and now it's all about showing you just that taste in, in real life so just like how Trevor Noah now you see him as a presenter at the Grammys true and not doing a full set now because mm. now he's more on the internet true all these jokes are found there exactly because what's going to happen is it's going to end up watering down the level of your sense of humor if you're everywhere true you're on the stages, you're off the stages. True. You have to pick a season to, okay, I'm hitting the stages this year. 
This year, it's the focus on the internet. Purely, purely focused on the internet. True. So is it a, is it a thing that comedians dive into the movie world and like straight like okay cool so Trevor Noah right now he could do a movie he hasn't 